What is intuition? It's listening. When we practice meditation, we get to be more in tune with God, with our higher self. And then you can listen. You can feel your own inner guidance. Your, the divine presence within you is omniscient. It's the creator of everything. Everyone. And so, of course, the divine is going to guide you 100%. It'll be correct. <laughs> you don't have to think to yourself, self, <laughs> am I making the correct decision? So the clearer you become, the clearer you become and the more of those little bubbles of emotional reactionary emotions that guide us incorrectly. We can feel emotional about something and it's like, oh, I feel emotional. That must be because I've got strong intuition on this particular person that I must be in love with, who must love me back. I have so much love to give. Why do they not love me back? Do they not know what they're missing? Yeah, they know. They're running a million miles away. <laughs> when we feel emotion and we want, we want, we want, that's not intuition. Oh, I absolutely know I have to go to Paris, France and do blah, 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 blah. When there's emotion involved, that's not your inner guidance. Your inner guidance is so subtle. It is exquisite. You just know that you know. So the more you practice your meditation, the more you have light transmitted to you, the more that you use your willpower to pull yourself up and make decisions that you know logically are for your highest good. Do I exercise today or not? Well, duh. <laughs> What are all the benefits of exercise? Of course you exercise today. Oh, I'll give myself a day off. You give yourself too many days off from things that are for your highest divine good, you end up lapsing. You go back energetically and it's very challenging then to get lift yourself up again and use your willpower because once you get into a spiritual momentum and you start taking action every day on the things that are for your highest divine good, okay, it's okay to have a day off occasionally from something, but even if it's just a little bit of stretching the body, getting down on the ground and doing just a little bit of yoga stretching, even if it's not like a full on workout, I think every day something for your body. And of course, every day communing with your divine presence, letting your divine presence know, this is my time for silence, to be with the love of my life. you God to commune you will always be guided you will know what to do when to do it and when not to do it you will begin to resonate resonate communication with other people and having a relationship with other people it's all about resonance Resonance, not residence. <laughs> not where you live. <laughs> Although that, that, that does make a difference sometimes. <laughs> it's about resonance. You are resonating. You are vibrating. You are oscillating at a certain frequency. That can be heard. And until your kundalini is awake, and maybe you can't hear it, but... It, at an unconscious level, everyone hears frequencies, even the frequencies of the, the low and the high arms. You feel them. You feel them when you're walking through nature. You're like, whoa, this feels good. Maybe you get a wave of Shakti. Oh, and then another one. 
So the frequency that you are oscillating at is how you attract certain situations in your life. Situations you may love, situations you may hate. <laughs> hate and love, whoa. So as you oscillate and vibrate, oscillating, vibrating, same thing at high, faster, it's not really higher, it's a faster frequency, well then you begin to attract, yes, just like a magnet, people and experiences that are also oscillating at that frequency or a similar frequency, maybe a little faster, a little slower, but in the ballpark of that frequency. Hello, little birdies. <laughs> I'm resonating with birdies because I feed them. <laughs> and when you resonate at a frequency and you start to attract into your experience the people, the things that is at that frequency and it's a fast frequency, well then your life becomes so fulfilled. You find people that you love so much, Johnny Doran, <laughs> Lou, William, everyone, all of you, that you love so much you love, okay, you say the divine presence within them. But that's what the frequency is. It's the divine presence. And it's so joy-filled and it's so humbling that you get to meet people that are so wonderful and so loving and funny and giving. It's just, you're like, wow, I'm on heaven and earth. Yes, you are, but beyond. And then if you are still vibrating at a slightly slower frequency, because you're not using your willpower, you're not strengthening your weaknesses, you're not practicing your meditation, you sort of just think you're staying at the same place, but you're not, you're going backwards, my friend. That's why you see a lot of people that are older that are really grumpy and unhappy because they kept vibrating backwards. It actually... You never stay in one place. You're either moving forward or you're going backwards. No one stays stagnant, even if you think you are. Because you may think you're staying stagnant because you're experiencing the same experiences over and over again with a different name, a different hat, a different city that you don't want. But that means you're not stagnant. That means you're going backwards. Whoa, scary. I want it to scare you, but not really. I don't want you to have any fear, just kidding. <laughs> but I want it to wake you up, at least, for you to awaken to the fact that you don't have forever. This life, you might feel like it's, but it's really in, in the timelessness, it's the blink of an eye and it's over. So every moment on this path is absolutely don't, don't take it all seriously. Just take action to improve your life. Do the things that you don't want to do sometimes, and then you'll find when you do them, you actually enjoy doing it. You love washing up immediately. <laughs> you love exercising. You've just got to use your willpower to take action and do it. Because everyone on the planet, not everyone, most people on the planet don't realize that through their vibration, through their frequency, they are creating and attracting into their experience the things that they don't want. And they're blaming it on their upbringing, their culture. They're blaming it on everything. They don't understand that it's because of past life stuff. We don't need to get too nitty gritty or uh, esoteric about this too detailed. It's very simple. Kiss, keep it simple and spiritual. If you wish to commune with people, have harmony in your relationships, you have to look, you can't blame other people and say, oh, I've got to get rid of them, they're negative. <laughs> How would you know that they're negative unless it's within you? The things that are released from our lives, from our consciousness, from our being are released. 
So there may be times where you really and truly don't understand why someone's mad or angry because it's not in you. The thing that's in them isn't in you. But if you get upset and reactionary and judgmental, if people are shitty to you, it's because it's within you. You're vibrating with that thing. It doesn't mean that things won't still happen and that you won't have people around you that maybe are a little irritating or, you know. But if you see things that are happening and you are reactionary, it's within you and it must be released. That is one of your weaknesses to be released. Allow the light to release them, to dissolve them. Like that. Pop goes the weasel. Bam. They're gone. And then it's dance now. Er, er. <laughs> you have to. This is what being mindful. Everyone's like, the key words. Oh, I'm mindful. It's being aware of your emotions, of your judgmental, your reactions and saying, and once you're aware, the minute you're aware, oh, that's me. It's not the other people. I can't blame them. I'm responsible. I am. I can't judge anything anyone else does. I can't tell anybody else what to do or not to do. I don't like what they're doing. Ah, I'm being judgmental. Anytime you're being judgmental, it's within you. What is it that annoys you about that? But if things are happening in the world, like we were just talking about the fires in Australia, we're not getting reactionary. We're feeling compassion.